Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Vernon 4, where we are about to storm this bandit lair, this suspected bandit lair, north of Fort Saffron. Also, I actually noticed that there appear to be rooms on the other sides of some of these walls. Specifically, well, there's something here. A one-tile room? Maybe that's just some sort of artifact and not actually something. There's also there's some walls visible there, so I guess we'll see if this maybe wraps around. Okay, I guess... well, this is already explained. But it does go south from here. Wait, only to here, though. It looks like there were recently some brigands hiding here. For some reason, when they abandoned this lair, they left traps behind to harm anyone who came to investigate. Odd. And there is literally nothing here. Didn't mean to fight. That is very strange. And obviously doesn't explain this. Or anything. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's, that was extremely, extremely short. Extremely short expedition. Oh, Commander Alfava listens to your description of the contents of the bandit cave. She's disappointed that the tale doesn't end with a pile of dead bandits. Yeah, her and me both. Oh, well, she says, thanks for trying. She gives you a small pouch of gold coins. That is... Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I was planning to do some sort of dungeon now and... Can't say that I'm not a bit disappointed, but you know, that's okay. No follow up quest for that. So I guess those brigands are just no longer around. Maybe they retreated into the Spire Fortress. Which leads to the next problem at hand, which is to choose where to go. I mean, there's always more of the Great Cave to explore, which I think should come first either way. We have to actually look at Darman for real. Um, I mean, not that we have actually looked at it in any kind of way. So that's definitely on the agenda, and then the rest of the Great Cave. But then, do I head past Fort Remote toward Renta Erna's Fortress, which very much sounds like it should be the location of the endgame. But it's also... The, the one thing that makes me suspicious of something else going on is that we're supposed to retrieve something from her castle, right? From her her stronghold um, that is connected to the Shades in order to find a way to deal with those. And I, I can't possibly be expected to enter the literally the final dungeon of the game, stop just before reaching the, the actual final boss, uh, and return all the way back to civilization from there with some sort of item to solve the quest and then head all the way back in and kill the boss. I mean, I suppose I could, if, if that's how it works, I could head in there pick up the item, kill Rentar, you know, or s deal with her in some other way, uh, and then head out. Because traditionally the game hasn't just ended upon slaying the final, uh, you know. None of these games have, have, have ended with the killing blow on the final boss. Except maybe for the Abaddon series, but not the Avernum games anyway. So technically I could then still complete the Shade quest, but, you know, it would feel weird to deal with the big bad first and then still have things to do. And that's the only thing that really makes me suspect that maybe the, the game's not going to end here. Maybe I'm supposed to, or expected to, head into the, the Unsettled Lands first before heading all the way up uh, into the Abyss and beyond. Yeah, I don't know. Basically, I'm... Um, I'm a little bit torn. If you have any kind of opinion, um, I don't know. I Honestly, I, I don't want, even want spoilers from anyone who knows the game. I don't even know uh, how many people who don't know this game are watching this. Um, but feel free to, to uh, give me your thoughts on the matter. But please, no explicit spoilers. Uh, I guess ultimately I'm just going to... I, I'm tempted to head up into the Abyss area first. But that seems to be more out of the way, right? No, I think I'm actually going to head into the Unsettled Lands and look uh, at Renta Erno's Fortress. Because some, somehow I have the feeling like um, she's not actually going to be there or she's going to retreat further up into the northeastern corner or something. Northwestern, I mean. What is this, by the way? I probably should also just play the game and not stand there and ramble for half an hour. What is this? 
other than uh, basically empty. Hmm. I guess just someone's abandoned cellar? Or maybe not even abandoned. Oh, <laughs> nope, I suppose someone's living here? There is a man standing at this intersection. He wears heavy armor and wields a wicked-looking rapier. He looks like he's made sort of an effort to disguise himself as an Avernite soldier, but you aren't fooled for a moment. Hail to you, traveler, he says. I see from your skeptical look that subterfuge will do me no good. I am Grint. I extract money from travelers under force of arms. You look to be well practiced, so I will allow you to pass for a mere 50 coins. Um, dude. Wrong. Wrong answer. Uh, I know I didn't ask a question, but... Seriously, if you can tell that we're well armed and practiced, uh, or at least well practiced, you should beg for your life here and not for money. Have you been robbing the farmers in this area? I was, but they all departed. A sad line of refugees. They barely left anything worth looting. Well, boo hoo. Uh, and I, uh, if I refuse to pay? Then I get to practice my swordsmanship. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't do you any good if you end up dead, which you will. I Obviously, I will not pay you. What the heck? Grin smiles, but his eyes become very cold. Then I will extract my toll by selling your gear. And since you will, I'm sure not... And since you will, I'm sure not give it to me willingly. He points his blade at you and approaches cautiously. Uh, oh, he was not actually inside the building. I didn't see him here. I guess it makes more sense for him to actually be waiting by the roadside if he's a bandit. Okay. Obviously we're not buffed, so maybe... Just maybe he's actually going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm going to start by doing this. Oh, he's not attacking yet. Well, in that case, we're also going to do this. Surprised we only got to attack once there? Why is that? We're not encumbered. Hmm. Who knows? But Mike is also not dead, so that's good. Maybe we can poison him further, and we did. That's good. Uh, we're going to heal you. We're gonna actually slow this guy down. Now we're going to attack twice. Oh, he healed himself, all right. Um, and he wasted another turn, or basically wasted his turn, speeding himself up, which is totally fine by me. That gives us some time to cure him too, and we can also just, you know, slow him down again. Takes 38 poison damage or acid. That's a nice hit. That's another very nice hit. He, once again, heals and hastes himself and just casually one-shots our warrior. Sweet. I mean, we did not have our protection buff, we did not have all of our HP buffs, so I guess that's uh, somewhat understandable. Uh, Alright, I, I really hate that we... well, first of all, I hate that we have to do this because I was not prepared for any kind of situation that might uh, kill us or kill any of us. That was my bad. Uh, but then again I also spent basically 90% of this episode so far just talking. So we're literally already caught up to where we were. I mean, just for, you know, sake of completeness. What is this? Uh, Shaney's Emporium. Yeah, okay. It's this little nook of the map. I, I really hate that we basically have to be fully buffed for, you know, to be, be able to survive any kind of encounter. Feels kind of lame, but then again, it's how the game works. what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I wasn't going to uh, start, you know, with, with all the short-term buffs and, and haste, uh, but I think at least having these passive buffs should help quite a bit. Now, anyway, uh, farmers, I refuse, I will not pay. 
gonna start with casting haste on you, casting haste on yourself. Okay, once again, he gave us two turns to prepare. This time I get to attack twice. Dude, this guy is pretty annoying. I feel like I have to heal again. Then again, if we actually... No, I'm going to cast protection. You are hasted, so I'm going to have you slow him down, so he will probably waste one of his many, many actions. The work, right? Grint is slowed. Um, drinking a speed potion again. And then we're going to haste you. You're going to attack twice, almost killing him. Oh, Grint starts to seem uh, winded, and that was, you know... This fight could not have possibly gone any more different from the first attempt. Oh well, Grin starts to seem winded. One of the ear blows starts to bleed and pain him. Yeah, you, you'd think that he would be in some sort of pain. He grimaces. I should have known. It never pays to harass adventurers. Go your way. I will not trouble you again. But if you try to find me, I will learn from my errors. He had something palmed out of view. He throws it against the ground and it erupts in a cloud of smoke. When the smoke clears, Grint is gone. Seriously. Um, well, needless to say that I'm looking forward to our next encounter. Okay, well, uh, what's it say here? Nothing we didn't already know. So I guess this must have originally belonged to someone and Grin took up residence in here. Well, uh, well, no idea where we could possibly run into this guy again, but I'm assuming that we will eventually. Shaney's Emporium. I'll be with you in just a second, Shaney. Oh, I was expecting a like a pylon here. I guess not. Beloved wife and merchant. Wait. Shaney, beloved wife and merchant. But you're Shaney. Um, Stony and Shaney. There is a big golem outside the shop, standing watch. It doesn't react to your presence in any way. Someone has painted on its chest in big childlike letters the word Stony. That's cute. You buy two? But how. What? Are you Shaney, daughter of Shaney? This remote shop is crammed with piles of piles of piles of stuff. <laughs> okay. Tools, pots and pans, weapons, armor, potions. You see a little bit of everything on the shelves. You've heard tales of this place from other adventurers. Shaney's Emporium has been a famous trading post for people in your line of work for decades. However, the young woman you see here is too young to be the original Shaney. Okay. Yet when she greets you, she says, Welcome, adventurer. I'm Shaney. I'm confident that whatever you need, we can do a bit to fill it. Okay. Can we not just straight up ask what happened to the original Shaney? I mean, she probably just died of old age. Probably. Um, I don't know. I, I Right now I can't tell if this person is trying to impersonate Shaney or, you know, if there's been a line of Shaney's following one another uh, all this time. Anyway, can I see what you have for sale? Apparently so. Blast Halberd, Emeralds, uh, Clarity Talisman. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, Mage Spells and Hardiness. Hmm. I'm gonna check what he has, but I don't know if that's something we necessarily want. Serpent Skin Helmet. Yeah. No thanks. Armoring. Does pretty much what you expect. Radiant Belt. Hmm. No, we have belts that give stat bonuses, so never mind. Inertial shield. Blast broadsword. Grounded cloak. Mercuric chain. Yeah, I think we have seen this one before as well. Not particularly interested. Can I sell you something? Yes, she did tell us that, she's, that she buys things. Um, how long have you been running the Emporium? Only for a few years. I took over when my mother died. Okay. She was 70. That's truly an advanced age for a Vernon. 
My father helps a lot, but he's away. Oh, huh, interesting. Uh, what did she die of? I mean, at the age of 70? Well, my best guess is that she died from being 70. Yeah, exactly. Uh, where's your father? Oh, Terry's a healer. He's out with the army. Not sure where. It's hard to get messages around. Hmm, Terry, huh? Have we seen the healer Terry before? Oh, you know what? In before we find Terry's corpse down at Fort Remote. That would be most unfortunate. Maybe we've seen him somewhere. I think I seem to vaguely remember seeing some sort of traveling healer somewhere. Maybe more than one, but no idea if his name was Terry. Uh, anyway, do, uh, do we have problems with bandits out here? Nope, there are bandits to be sure, but Stony scares them off. Who's Stony? We know who Stony is. Our golem, by the front door. Got a great deal on him. He's not for sale. He's a bit slow and cracked, but he's still a good guard. Have you seen any bandits nearby? No, but I haven't been looking. I hear there is one nasty one, a highwayman named Grint. Oh yeah, that guy is a real pain. I'd watch out for him. I hear he's mean with a rapier. Where is Grint? Nobody knows, especially not the soldiers. They think Grint has hiding places all around here, in the abandoned farmhouses and such. Oh, okay, so maybe it's just another... I mean, obviously we have seen that one guy teleporting around, uh, or not teleporting around, but... Um, basically escaping in a, in a smoke cloud just like Grint did uh, back on the graveyard. And there it seemed to just be a matter of checking the different tombs over again and we found him. So maybe I'm just going to check the different houses I see here, maybe even ones that I've already seen. And hopefully we'll run into that guy again and be able to finish him off for good. Because, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, thanks for that info, I suppose. And I guess that's all. That is, well, we can unlock that, which obviously means that we will, but obviously we're not going to rob this little girl here. What kind of monster do you think I am? Not that kind of monster, anyway. Hmm, I mean, there's a basement here. You find a small camp hidden at the back of this cave. You check the bedding. It's still slightly warm. Whoever was hiding here, he or she left. Somehow the person slipped out past you. That uh, seems unlikely. If they were actually here at the time I entered. But okay. Hmm. You find a small camp. Slipped out again. Hmm. Okay. Just to... You know, just out of curi curi curiosity. Okay, it does not trigger the same message again. So I hope that it's just a matter of finding all the different farmhouses. What is this, by the way? Why is this not open? Can you... Suddenly you feel a magical presence filling the city. It projects a feeling of rage, which hits you like a hot wind. It's a restless, uncontrollable anger that could only be solved with violence. There is something in the city, and you know uh, what it must be. It's one of the shades that afflicts a Vernum. It's not far away. Oh, 30. So, yeah, we can't open that. Okay. That makes sense, or else I would have unlocked it before. Well then, anyway, okay, there's the next farmhouse already. So, I guess it's probably not going to take too long to find that person again. That Grint person. There is a, some sort of basement as well. You sneak into this cave as quietly as you can, wanting to make sure that whoever might be hiding here can't escape. You succeed, but only because your quarry is so exhausted. Rushing in, you corner Grint in the corner of this cavern. His smoke escape trick won't help him now. He sighs and draws his blade. Oh no, I've been trapped at last. Is this the end of Grint? Um, as far as I'm concerned, most likely, yes. Okay, not a great start. Not a great start. Mm. Yeah, we have to keep him healthy, as we have seen. Start by hasting you. Good hit. Where 
acid. I'm gonna paste you. And also... Uh, maybe I should haste Mike instead of slowing this guy down. Because with if we get lucky with some good hits, we can actually maybe kill this guy outright. That would be good. Oh, okay, like that. We only got to attack once though because we were a little bit stunned. Yikes. Okay. Uh, heal again. Yeah, we can't reach him with a with a, a protection spell anyway. So I think I'm going to. Poison. Now we're definitely going to slow you down. Mm. Haste you. Okay, he's almost dead. Come on, don't heal yourself, please. He of course he did. What are you doing, dude? How do you get this many actions? Stupid powerful shield as well. Oh man, what a pain. Two big heals to top you off. Resist the day spell, you know what? Why didn't I try strong days to begin with? There we go. And now he took acid damage. That's right. Well... Okay, he's scared, that's fine. Protection... Slow, strong days, which he resisted. Awesome. Drink a potion, attack and miss. He attacks once, twice. Only twice? What's going on? Yeah, I have to top him off. The grid can deal way too much damage. Slow you down even more, for whatever that's worth. Yeah, it's obviously still protected. Very annoying. <sighs> nope. There we go. Heal. Can apply the attack buff in preparation for when this guy's finally going to uh, actually be attackable again. It's really unfortunate that there is no way to tell, as far as I can tell, how long this uh, stupid protection is going to last, and there's also no way for me to remove it or anything. Okay, so Let's try this. Just for funsies. Actually, well, I don't know if casting slow multiple times even does anything oh there we go okay please there we go grin falls to his knees gasping so my mother was right being abandoned in avernum wasn't the right choice i should have stayed in the abyss then he falls forward and hits the ground with a splat kind of satisfying i guess but still a major pain frozen blade jinx blade hmm jinx blade i mean is that does that have a chance to charm the enemy or what else could Jinx be? It's really unfortunate that, you know, these damage types or special effects of, of weapons are not explained at all by the tooltips. Uh, cold resistance and hit chance is nice. Obviously, we don't really have a one-handed uh, weapon user, except when we have the Seeking Rep here, which is Anatomy and Blade Master. Blade Master not doing anything for us. Right? Uh, I think that's purely just uh, damage and hit chance for melee weapons. The anatomy, of course, he, uh, helps with dealing uh, damage to humanoids. Or critical hit chance against humanoids. Hmm. Thing is, we would benefit from the hit chance and the cold resistance, of course, but uh, we don't really have trouble hitting things. So, unfortunately, I don't think this is going to help us at all. 
uh, assuming that the Jinx blade effect only applies when you actually use the blade. That's the only thing that makes sense. Ghostly blade gives some sort of protection. And this gives... Well, I mean, I suppose technically... Um, the Jinx blade is a little bit better. Base damage is the same. Value is actually the same too. It does give extra um, more hit chance. Same resistance. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose I'm going to consider that an upgrade, even though she really doesn't need the extra hit chance, except for maybe when she sometimes uses her bow. I should maybe also be doing some depoisoning here, some detox. Uh, I suppose I can also top you off for good measure. There we go. Anyway, Grint is gone. That's good. Oh, sticky web tenders. Sure, let's deal with some random spiders. In before they kill us. They very much, uh, very well might. Okay. Thankfully, I suppose they split up the damage. They are also pretty fast. Uh, what? Not enough action points? <gasps> That's bad. Why did she... Oh, because she walked around. Well, in that case... <clears throat> this costs 18. Holy crap. Is it actually that much better? So three times as much. Hmm. The thing is, yeah, I'd really like to make sure that these things um, stay crowd controlled. <sighs> okay. Fire. All right. Why don't we wait for one turn here? Curing. Um, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna speed you up. Alright, that works. Spider is probably gonna wake up, but I'm not gonna help it do that. Uh, I think at this point we can just go ahead. Alright. That was a little bit dicey. Because I clearly underestimated these a little bit. Speed elixir. And those over. Okay. Nothing else in here. Nothing on the ground. Fair enough. Uh, so we dealt with Grint. I wonder if returning to Shaney will give us any kind of extra dialogue. But she didn't exactly ask us to deal with him. Obviously, she seemed very unconcerned. Uh, bandits. Grin's dead now. Huh. Really? Can't say I'm sorry to hear it. Well, at least it was some sort of uh, acknowledgement. Obviously, no reward, but I didn't expect any, so it's all good. Right, and there's Darmon right there. Mm, I don't know if I should enter Darmon this episode, or... You know what? I think I'm just going to uh, look around. Check out the surrounding areas first and save uh, the actual city of Darmon for next episode. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think we should have done something. At least a fireball, I guess. And it died from its acid. Root, gray mold, a little bit of a maze of stalactites. Oh, and we can't even reach that digging spot from here. Okay. Sure, why not? Is this some sort of mine here? Fresh claim, keep out. Mm, okay, thanks for the invitation. Hey, 
Andreas. Uh, there is only one man in this mine right now. Normally, this would be a small number to hold a claim, but his mage robes mark him as capable of defending himself. He doesn't waste any time telling you that you aren't welcome here. I'm Andreas, he says, and this is our claim. My mates have already gone to the Dharma to file the papers. Now, get out. We don't need any more help. I mean, yeah, why so hostile? Do I look like a miner to you? I'm not going to take this claim away from you. Because there are plenty of claim jumpers about. Yeah, I'm, I'm not one, though. Look at us, we're freaking adventurous. You should be able to tell. And even if you aren't a brigand now, many have been tempted to go down that road when they meet someone when they met someone with a good strike. I'm not a claim jumper. So you say. I'm not going to take the chance of letting my guard down around anyone. So move on. He returns to sipping his drink, ignoring you. I mean... Claims are filed in Dharma? Of course. Dharma is the... He stops speaking, refusing to get drawn into conversation. That's enough of that. Just move on. What a nice guy. You mind if I look around in these caves? Of course I mind. Are you dense? I worked hard to, uh, on setting up the ones here, the, the wards here. If you disturb them, you and I will come to blows. Now shove off. Uh, I mean, I probably should just leave. There's really no reason for me to stick around. On the other hand, though, I'm, I just want to know... Oh, okay, this is connected to some larger cave system. Or rather, there is, an, there is more cave to the east of here. Which is good to know. Oh, hi there. I wonder if he's actually going to turn hostile if I dispel these. I wonder if the the engine has a way to check. Oh. Oh. Ah, well, turns out I had to actually ignore his wishes in order to get here. So, yeah, I really hope that he's not just going to be hostile now, because I certainly don't want to kill him. Unfriendly as he may be, he is obviously right, or, you know, he, he has every right to want me off his property. Oh, no. Can we just leave this place? I think we can, right? Oh. Protector shades. Uh, I mean... Fair enough, I guess. I sure had it coming. So long as I don't have to kill the guy himself, I'm okay with fighting some extra enemies. Interesting to see that these things can be uh, acidified. Ouch, don't. Don't do it. Be nice. He's fleeing. Okay, well, nothing I can do about that now. Okay, he ran away. Please focus on Mike. He's a little bit sturdier. That should be fine. Ouch, ouch. Mm, okay, he's running now. That obviously cannot be tolerated. Um, Might as well finish speeding everyone up here, even though this fight should hopefully be over pretty soon. Okay. Oh, he might die. Oh god, he just barely didn't die. That's a bit, a bit too scary. Huh? Oh. Hit the wrong button there. There we go. Um, save the game. Enter combat mode and just run out of here, hoping that if we don't see that guy... Oh, he is hostile. Whoops. No! Okay. Can't change levels when in combat. That's okay, I hope. Um... Let's see. If I... Maybe I can stun him. He is stunned, okay. Which in theory means that... Oh, he's still running away. Oh, that sucks. Okay, he's not running anymore. 
So please just head on over here. Should be able to leave combat and leave this place. Okay, see? Everything's good. This guy's pissed, but uh, at least he's not dead. I wasn't forced to kill him. Uh, I call that a win-win. He lives, we got our loot, and much more importantly, actually, we got to explore this otherwise inaccessible area of the map. That would have tormented me forever. Daggerstone mine? Okay. Maybe a bit of a friendlier place. Rabbit Hellhound. Just wait. Shoot. Not immune to fire. Also dead. Save the game, because I'm not sure I actually did after that little endeavor. Okay, Great Cave Ruins. Ah, yes, of course. There was... There used to be some sort of fortress or something or town I remember the the shape of this corner of the great cave being different without this large protrusion of rock basically there just used to be a some sort of ruins north of Fort Remote but I forget uh, what they were called or what their story was actually right there's another hellhound there it's probably gonna come after us so Yep, sure enough. Also, it moved further than I expected. That's okay. Yeah, I don't want to explore this right now. I'm going to focus on this map here, and that's probably going to be the extent of what I explore in this episode, um, this, the rest of this map, and then taking a look at uh, Daggerstone Mine, which might turn out to be bigger. Or maybe it's just another, basically, one-screen thing. Uh, oh, I... Right. Probably should end combat before trying to quicksave. Uh, you're at the outer edge of some ruins. Okay. About 60 years ago, before the war with the Empire, King Micah decreed that the new city, a new city be built here to house the new exiles from the surface. However, a combination of the independent spirits of the new arrivals and the inability of edible mushrooms to grow in this part of the cave doomed the effort. The project was abandoned and the buildings were left to crumble. Oh, okay, so it wasn't a calamity or a catastrophe that destroyed it. Uh, while the ruins don't appear to have any humans settled here, you can hear a lot of howling and snare, uh, snaring, snarling in the distance. Probably yet another place settled by opportunistic and hostile creatures. Yes, we've already had the questionable pleasure of meeting some of them. Uh, it's over here. Is this still down on right? Sometimes I find it hard to wrap my head around everything being so close together. Uh, hello, Eli. There is uh, only one soldier watching the west end of Darman. Eli? Ellie? I don't know. She seems happy to have someone to talk to. She leans on her halberd and smiles. Hello, adventurer. I'm Eli. Come to drop by my unhappy little city, have you? Are you? Are, are you? Come by? Come to drop by? Okay, whatever. Uh, she has the air of one who is almost always in a good mood. This is a hard quality to find in the underworld, especially near um, a city afflicted by the shade of rage. So that's uh, a pleasant surprise. How go things in Darman? Oh, it's an unhappy place. Well, more accurately, an angry place. The shade being around makes everyone angry. It even affects me when I return to the barracks. It's, I mean, we're literally... 10 meters outside of the city, so you'd think that we should be affected, or you should be affected in some way, but I guess not. Is it safe for me to go in there? I'm not making any promises. Why, even our commander has been nervous. Some have been saying he's dangerous because he's a Nephil. People can be so dumb. Hmm, I really like your attitude so far. Uh, what is being done about the shade? Oh, nothing. In fact, we're guarding it to keep anyone from bothering it. We don't want to end up like poor Blosk. Yeah, understandable. Well, I'm not going to attack it until I have some sort of, uh, you know, promising way to actually deal with it, so no problems there. Is this the worst guard post around, Darmon? Oh, no. Uh, that's at the garbage pits, around the north end of town. Filthy job. Usually used to punish people. She laughs. Okay, uh, what's west of here? Uh, not much. Whoops, uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, what's west of here? Well, northwest of Blosk... Uh, northwest is Blosk Farmlands. 
Some farmers are still struggling to make it uh, and to make it despite what happened to the city. West of here are a few mines. I'd be careful out there. And the ruins are southwest. Why should I be careful in the mines? From what I hear, monsters have hidden in a few of them. Well, not this one, so probably this one. And the miners that are left are very nervous about claim jumpers. Nervous enough to attack innocent strangers. Hmm. These times, she sighs. Everything seems to be going funny. Uh, what are the ruins? Oh, some city they tried to build in the early days of Avernum. It didn't work out. Some of the walls are st still haven't been scavenged for building materials. I hear there are monsters in there now. I can hear them howling sometimes. Although, that's not unusual for Avernum these days. Or, really, any days. Well, thanks. It's always nice to have a surprisingly pleasant encounter on the road. Okay, well, we've seen this side of Darman. And, yeah, there's nothing else here other than this mine. So let's take a quick look here, see... Right, of course, we knew that there was at least some other cave. And there indeed are some monsters. So should we prepare right away? Running a little bit low on mana here, but... Maybe if it's just some slimes we should be fine. They can be acidified, that's always good. Ouch. Start with some protection because we've been taking a pretty worrying um, amounts of damage lately from some of these enemies that I really didn't expect to be much of a problem. Okay, these things are resistant to physical attacks. Ouch. Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Ah, uh, god damn it. Am I, get, am I gonna... Well, I mean, to be fair, Dirk wasn't going to contribute much here anyway. So I think I'm gonna try and continue without him. See how we fare. He's taking so much less damage. As he should, I suppose. But still. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cure you. And... I guess I can... Do some divine fire. Help soften these things up. Yeah, he's running a bit too low though. Yeah, that works. Nice, okay. Alright. So far so good. How do you like fireballs? Not so much, huh? Okay, it's a shame about Dirk, but uh, if these were all the enemies here, and there's no guarantee that that's the case, but it might it might be fine. Okay, one more slime. Hasted, but okay. Doesn't look like there's gonna be a whole lot more to this place. Oh, although uh, there's certainly a little bit more room. doing a surprisingly good job tanking these attacks though, especially when I do this. Um, yeah. I think some haste is in order. Where did you come from? Oh, that's not good. Ah, sneaky game just spawning enemies behind us. That is not very nice. I don't know if they can even be Nope, don't skip your turn, please. That would be catastrophic. Um, I don't know if these things can be dazed. Try. Okay. Actually, wait, did they all? Dazed, dazed, dazed. Okay. So, wait. Oh, the, these all? These were all affected, even at that distance. Okay. Not this one, of course. Well, that's perfectly fine. 
Oh wait, this one was not. Nope, never mind. Um. Okay, sweet. That was unexpected. And... Okay. <laughs> Finish off that one. Uh, it should probably die from acid. Yeah, for hit points. If it uh, gets its turn. Okay, nice. There were more of them apparently off camera. Good to know. You did not die because, again, damage happens as a new round starts. Not on individual turns. And still, I'm gonna focus on finishing off that one. Would you please take damage sometime? Um, well, that's uh, a little bit annoying. It's still, it's still uh, poisoned, right? Or acidic? Well, either way, now it's dead. Um, yeah, so more of these unstable things blew up around the corner, it seemed like. But none, no more have come into view. So maybe that was all of them. I am the biggest idiot. Why did I just quick save? A uh, quick load rather than... Yeah, I pressed F4 instead of F8. To... Uh... Wait, no. I pressed F4 instead of 4 to select her, because I wanted to just uh, heal the party. Well, that was extremely stupid. Now I'll have to do that again. Uh, unless there happens to be a a quick uh, an autosave, but there never is. So I'm going to make a little cut here and see you in a second. God damn it. Okay, uh, I hope... Pausing and resuming worked correctly. No way to check that, so that's always great. So yeah, I've dealt with the things around the corner, and I've actually uh, managed to shoot the first uh, unstable mass that peaked around the corner here. Um, and it did kill at least one extra. I haven't seen any more of them come around the corner. But yeah, I definitely suspect that there are still more. And then there are also more slimes around this corner, so that's nice. Uh, we still have our buffs active. Yeah, I mean, definitely seems like there is some more enemy activity around the corner, maybe. Actually, come to think of it, these things do turn green when there are hit by his acid weapon, but they have not actually been taking any acid damage, so maybe they're just immune to the damage. Maybe that's what it is. I suppose that could very well be the case. Well, some of your last mana to do this. Fireball. Okay, this this is bad. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're all gonna take some area damage from these things, unfortunately. There's really no way around it, unless we can... Well, I mean, technically... Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna try... Stepping here, dazing them. They're all supposed to be dazed at this point, so... Not this one, though. Are you gonna retreat? I really don't know what the explosion radius is. Really? Can you please hit this one? Okay. Mike was hit, but no one else, so I'm going to consider that a win. Well, everyone's basically out of spell points. If at all possible, I'd like to not have to use any potions for this, but this just keeps going. Okay. Mm, you know, maybe insisting on exploring this mine and also accepting Dirk's death were not some of my best decisions. 
Also, we actually re regained a lot of uh, spell points here. Because uh, this was all just one long encounter. Forgot about that. So that's... Uh, Okay, yeah, got something back again. Oh, there's... Oh, God, there's something. Yep. You know what? Uh, never mind. We're gonna... Blow ourselves up first. Nice. How many more of these are gonna come? I guess we'll find out. Thankfully, they're not dealing as much damage as they could be dealing, I guess. Yeah. Could be a lot worse. But still, this is extremely nasty. I hope... All of these uh, unstable masses only... Oh, wait. Huge spawn fungus creates a new foe? Has that message been appearing before? Even before we uh, saw these slime spawners? Maybe not. Anyway, um, we'll see if, if more of these things are going to spawn the next time we enter. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to take care of that, of the rest of that place, next time with, uh, you know, all of our party. And... Uh, without having to worry about resources and stuff. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a sneak peek here, I guess. A pretty long sneak peek, but whatever. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.